This is an economic decision support system for dairy production and expansion, better known as the DEDSS. The objective of this program is to organize information from different parts of a dairy operation and bundle it in a way that allows us to make well-informed decisions regarding management, production, and investments as we look toward the future. We begin by taking a snapshot of our dairy operation today using key inputs to establish a baseline profile. Using this profile, we can then ask many what-if questions and perform real-time simulation to understand how various aspects of our operation will respond over time. This program operates from several tabs in Microsoft Excel, and all input information is located in the tabs titled Lactation 1, Lactation 2, Lactation 3, Final Summary, and Sensitivity Analysis. Each tab contains a series of input boxes, all highlighted in green, which allow us to customize a specific parameter. The process begins by entering the current inventory of first lactation cows by days in milk and days dry. We then enter production level culling rate for the first 60 days in milk and for the rest of the lactation and finally the number of heifers calving this month. We do the same for all second lactation cows and all third lactation cows as well. The forecast sheet provides a visual reference as to how our herd structure changes over time. For example, in the first month we have 7 cows from 0 to 30 days in milk, and due to our culling rates, 2 months later we have 6 animals left in this same group, and we can follow them in a stepwise fashion through time. We can do the same with all second lactation cows. all third lactation cows, and all heifers as well. Summaries clearly show fluctuations in herd structure from month to month. In the current month, we have 81 first lactation cows, 80 second lactation cows, and 55 third lactation cows for a total of 216. Of these, 183 are milking and 33 are currently dry. We can monitor these changes up to 55 months in advance and anticipate future facilities and infrastructure needs for our operation. final summary sheet contains a number of additional inputs to further describe the current status of our herd and on-farm conditions. Here we may want to change the milk price, or the percentage of heifer calves born. We can also set prices for all cattle purchased and sold on the farm. And inputs for loan criteria allow us to evaluate potential investments and see how they will affect the bottom line in the future. As we scroll down, we come to another set of inputs that describes our heifer inventory, culling rates, and the cost to raise each heifer each day. This tab also contains a number of detailed summaries for each lactation group and the whole herd. The input boxes in rows 68 and 70 
allow us to evaluate different purchasing and sales strategies. For example, if I wanted to purchase five heifers in months two and three, I can simply enter those numbers and the changes will instantly be reflected in the program. Figures are generated for income over variable costs on a per cow and whole herd basis each month. Present value analysis gives us the value of each future cash flow in today's terms and provides an effective means of evaluating future investments and management changes. As we scroll over to the far right side, we find totals for income over variable costs and the present value of our cash flows. At this point, we've established our base farm profile. The sensitivity analysis tab allows us to take things one step further by evaluating changes in the milk price, expenses, milk production, and call rates. Essentially, by changing any combination of these parameters, we can create a number of scenarios to simulate facilities upgrades and simple management changes. To give you an idea of how this works, let's imagine I have a freestyle barn that's overcrowded and limiting production. If I add on to this structure, I expect to complete construction in six months and believe milk production will increase by three pounds per cow per day and my total call rates will drop by 4%. On top of all this, I'm going to check if this project is feasible if the milk price drops to $15 per hundredweight. So I'll go ahead and enter the criteria into the appropriate boxes. And we do the same for each lactation group. And now we've just finished simulating our hypothetical scenario. Similar to the final summary tab, the sensitivity analysis tab also contains a number of detailed summaries for each lactation group and the whole herd. The printouts tab distills the most important information into a printer friendly format. And before I go any further, you want to be sure to print these pages in landscape format for best results. In these five sheets, we can easily identify our current level of profitability from the base farm profile and also the changes that were evaluated during this simulation. Comparisons are given for herd inventories. income over variable costs, and the present value of our cash flows. This concludes our tour of the Decision Support System for Dairy Expansion and Production. A detailed user guide and free download of this program are available on the UW Dairy Management website.